In this video, I'm gonna share with you the different types of AI prompts that you can use to communicate. Eight of the most common. So whenever you talk with a large language model like OpenAI, you essentially communicate using natural language or natural, and it processes your natural language uh, to give an answer and natural language, right? And that, so it begins right here with a prompt. So there are different types of prompts that you might use for different types of purposes. For example, if you had an instructional prompt right here, like, hey, create a weekly meal plan for a vegetarian on a $50 budget, let's show you what exactly you're gonna get right here. Uh, so it'll break this down. And as you can see, it's going to break it down by the grocery list. It's gonna break it down by the meal plan, lunch ideas. And essentially what you're trying to do is get step-by-step -step guidance for how to complete a task. Another thing you might wanna do is you might wanna go right here and you might say, hey, what are the economic impacts of remote work? Uh, so you essentially could just pop in your uh, prompt right here. And I'm just gonna go right here and I'm gonna select it. And so this type of prompt is going to help break things down and give you know the positive and also the negative economic impacts of this. And even thinking about things like a macroeconomic trends to watch. Remember the different tools that you use might give you different information. So creative prompts are usually for original or imaginative content. So if I wanted to say, for example, to create a short story about a time traveling botanist, we could definitely do that through our generative AI tool and it'll create it almost like an essay. Comparison prompts are really helpful as well. Compare, uh, say, the leadership styles of these two different people who, well, you could say make the case that they're controversial figures for sure, uh, depending on which camp you're in. But this will actually break things down and just show you the leadership type, their personality. Uh, but once again, you know, here's the thing. You may need to actually go through and look at this it, through your lens, because once again, generative AI might be biased. It also might uh, not necessarily contain all accurate information. So make sure that you don't just rely on it just for facts. You have explanation prompts. For example, right here, you know, we're talking about this idea of quantum computing and I just don't understand it. So, well, let's get it to be explained like we were 10 years old, right? Uh, so this actually uh, breaks it down and it breaks down each different type of, uh, you know, uh, component right here, which I think is really, really neat. Now, another thing you may wanna do is you may wanna have a dialogue, right? And you may want to have the generative AI model pretend like you're a career counselor, hoping, helping somebody switch industries. And this is actually pretty neat because it will actually almost be a chat bot that will allow you to, well, start having a conversation uh, with this and uh, it'll start asking you some questions. Uh, so I could say that I currently work in academia and I am looking to change careers. So let's see what it'll do right here. So it, it'll actually shift in and it'll start uh, asking me some different questions. Now, depending on what you do and which uh, tool you use, uh, you might have a different type of conversation. You also have opinion prompts, right? So what are the pros and cons of electric vehicles? So yes, yeah, very similar to what we were talking about with Tim Cook and Elon Musk. Uh, those opinion prompts will allow the generative AI tool to, well, not necessarily base its information on facts, but opinion. Then you have feedback. So give me feedback on this business email to make it more professional. It'll actually give you more information on how you can improve it, how you could change the tone, uh, are there any grammatical errors, et cetera. And then this is one of my uh, favorites, it is data analysis. So you could literally go in here to your generative AI model, start a brand new chat, and right in here, you could upload from your computer, say an Excel file, um, an image, a PowerPoint presentation, and you could ask the generative AI model to summarize the key trends from maybe a sales report that you're analyzing. All of these different types of prompts are extremely helpful and they all have different reasons behind that. And there's even more 
types of AI prompts, but these are the most common. Keep in mind that AI is a tool. It's not 100% accurate. It can actually generate what are called hallucinations, which are things that, well, it's just making things up. Uh, so keep that in mind and always keep a human in the loop whenever you are using AI.